Hello! It seems it's time to do a few more tutorials, update some of the information. During the preparation of our last service, uh, someone had an issue, and so it wouldn't hurt to go back over the basics and maybe expand some information. Also, I've had requests for uh, advice coming from outside the congregation. So I'm going to put together a, a series of tutorials and uh, we can share them and hopefully it'll help people out. Naturally, with the COVID numbers rising, our focus is on recorded services. Uh, it's just not a safe idea to do them live at the moment. So we need to think about pre-recording and the best way, of, uh, at least that I know of, of keeping the most people involved is to ask people to record different segments, much the way that we've been doing at St. Michael's. Uh, so we'll focus on that. Um, the most important thing you're going to need will be one of these. Uh, basic, later model, smartphone has a very good camera in it. It has a passable microphone. If you're just sitting here at your table recording a reading, prayers of the people, some other part of the service, this is more than good enough for what you need. Um, also possibility, this one's wired up just because it's drawing power from outside, but basic video camera. This one is a little bit more than basic. It runs about 250 bucks. But if you have a simple camera at home um, that can either transfer data to your computer via a cord or through a uh, data card that's removable, then uh, you're good to go. Um, you can certainly use that. Um, I'll give you information in the various tutorials on how to transfer stuff. But we're going to focus on this right now. Uh, basic situation. You know, right now I'm shooting with the webcam built into my computer. I normally would set it up using one of these, a mini tripod. This has extendable legs. I got this at Myers. You can get it at Walmart, Best Buy, any store comparable to one of those. Uh, where they have cell phone accessories, they'll sell one of these. You can get them on uh, Amazon as well. Look up for cell phone mounts or cell phone tripods. And just get a little mini one. It'll fit on your table. Uh, you can also then uh, stack it on books. I put it right behind my computer, and I get a view very much like this. And when I'm recording sermons, I have the text of my sermon right here on my computer screen so that I don't have to be constantly looking down. Um, if you're doing a reading, it's not that big a deal. Having the text right down in front of you, that's how you deliver it in church. Well, people will be used to it. So do whatever is uh, most comfortable to you. So we have the tripod, but you can also simply do that. Set your phone up on a stack of books Embrace it. Switch to the camera. I have it in selfie mode. And make sure that you can fully see yourself in the shot. If you don't know how to get into selfie mode, make sure I can see here. It's the little camera right up icon right up here. Um, the other thing you want to make sure of is right over here, you have the settings. Make sure, if it's possible, that your picture size is at the 16 by 9, that's the widescreen, and your video size is at what's FHD full, high definition, 1920 by 1080. That's simply to keep all the videos uniform. If your video doesn't go that, if your camera doesn't go that high, then just set it as high as it will do. Most, this is a Samsung, it's an Android machine. Most of them have their settings accessible right here in the camera mode. If you're using an iPhone, it's uh, more, it's in your setup menu. 
you may have to look up with the specific uh, iPhone number and do a Google search of how to adjust your your icon. I had to look it up for somebody and I found that they do vary depending on the mode of the iPhone. Uh, then to mount it, this is simply spring loaded. Whoa! The top fell off, but it mounts easily enough. It just slides off. And it positions like that. The recording on this one is the little red button down here at the bottom. Most Android phones will be the same way. If you're using an Apple product, it may be slightly different, but it should be basically the same idea. And then you simply want to record like this. If you're using your video camera, then it's the same basic idea. Just if your screen will flip, it's recommended that you do so. That way, again, you can see where you are uh, as you are recording. Then when you're done, you simply turn it off. Some cameras can fit a uh, external shutter control. That's just a little push button that you keep in your hand and you simply click it to turn it on and off. Otherwise, you have to reach over and switch it off. That uh, pretty much covers that. Um, I hope that this part of it is helpful. I will, the next video will be on how to transfer data off of it. And uh, we'll see where we go from there. And thank you very much.